In this video, we'll finish the goblin wiring harness. Tape four six foot black ground wires near the BCM. Grab three of the bundles of ground wires with at least 18 wires total. Insert a donor bolt through all of the ground lugs. Don't forget the power steering ground lug. Use pliers to close the ground lugs up closer to each other. Tape just over a foot of the ground wires. Pull the largest ground wire toward the BCM. Then pull eight of the smaller wires out with the largest ground. Place the taped up grounds near the clutch and brake mark and tape it to the harness. After you tape the ground lug bundle to the harness, pull these wires down as shown to keep them from getting mixed up with the other grounds. Grab the large ground wire near the BCM and solder it to the large ground coming from the lugs. Solder the four ground extension wires to four of the ground wires coming from the lugs. After soldering all four, pull the slack toward the BCM. Solder the loose ground wire near the cell and brake mark to one of the ground lug wires. Do the same for the remaining loose grounds near the BCM. Solder the two orange turn signal wires to two of the ground lug wires. Repeat this process for the remaining dash harness grounds. The total number of grounds will vary depending on your donor year and trim. After the ground wires are soldered, use a test light to check the grounds. Clamp to the ground lugs and test the light at the lugs. One by one, go through the dash connectors to check the grounds. This will include the theft deterrent connector, two turn signal switch connectors, two orange turn signal wires, RPD or boost gauge connector, button panel ground, two pins on the instrument cluster connector, two pins on the OBD2 port, power steering connector, brake reservoir connector, BCM connector, BCM multi-plug, four ground extension wires, and the TPMS receiver. Start taping up the harness near the turn signal wires. Stop a few inches past the loose red and purple wires. Fold over the tip of the red wire and add a piece of heat shrink. Roll up the wire and zip tie it to the harness. Continue taping the harness. Notice how we double back around some of the wires coming out of the harness. Stop taping about 8 inches from the BCM. Roll up the purple wire in the same way as the red wire. Move to the main harness and tape it up moving toward the BCM. Stop where the main harness meets the dash. Disconnect the BCM and set it aside. Do the same for the ignition switch. Fold the harness over as shown. Try to get your harness to match the shape of our harness. Tape just above the junction to hold the wires together. 
pull the loose wires together and aim them to the right. Finish taping this area as shown. Pull out the loose wires and start taping them about two feet from the main junction. Tape up several inches until you get past the 50 amp fuse. Once you get past that point, add the fused wire and continue taping all the way to the junction. Tape up the heat exchanger fan wire with one of the black ground wires. Solder another one of the ground wires to the black horn wire. Tape up the horn wires. Grab the first group of headlight wires and one of the ground wires. Tape up these wires. Repeat the process for the other set of headlight wires. Continue taping up to the 50 amp fuse. Next, you'll trim the headlight wires flush to the ground wires. Before cutting them, mark the ends with strips of tape. At this point, your goblin wiring harness is ready to go. Subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get notified when our new videos go live. If you have any questions, send us an email, give us a call, or join our forum. Thanks for watching.